people always say, oh, well, don't ever say what somebody's going to do. Well, you know, or don't ever say what somebody's not going to do. Well, I'm saying it. <laughs> I'm saying it because it won't happen. If it was going to happen, it would have happened by now. Don't you all feel that way, my brothers and my sisters? That if your enemies really were the big, tough, bad butts that they want you all to think they are and that they proclaim that they are, would not they have approached you by now? You think about that. And I'm kind of getting the feeling, and I really don't care, but, you know, like, a lot of these enemies that have come at me on social media and stuff like that, uh, like I said, I don't know these people. I honestly do not know them. I don't know any of them. Um, some of them may have been people that I've crossed paths with briefly, briefly. They may have known of my name, or maybe they know my No, no, they don't know. I'm antisocial. I've always been antisocial in that way. I've always been standoffish. I could be in a crowd, but I'll still be the chick standing off to the side, observing everybody else. So no, they don't know me like that. But um, and no, I don't care if they don't like me. I don't like them either. I don't care if they hate me. I don't hate anybody, but I strongly don't like them. And um, no, I will never associate with them because first of all, I don't even know who them is. <laughs> No, I don't know who they are. I just know they're haters. And I don't care about that either. And some may be males. Some may be females. Some may be men that think they're women or women that think they're men. I mean, I don't know and I don't care. Because there will never be an association and there will never be an affiliation. And even if it was somebody that um, and I that I hung out with back in the day, I mean, hey, <laughs> maybe they thought it was something that it wasn't. But mm -mm. Uh, we were never friends. We were acquaintances. I used to hear people say, oh, I don't have friends, I have acquaintances. That's a very smart, smart person. That's a wise person. You don't have friends until you know you have friends. Did you get it? All right. See, what I meant by that is a friend proves his or herself. You know when you have a friend. A friend goes with you to the end. You think about that. Aren't a lot of you, like, especially you ladies, you're like, well, why is it that when you arrived on the planet, you could not have just met your kingdom spouse and let it be at that? <laughs> well, because that would make it too easy, my sisters. Oh, my gosh. You know, the devil is difficulty. <laughs> well, because, well, that's just, that's just it. We have an invisible adversary out there and then we have a father that loves us and wants to teach us and uh, you have to I, I wanted to use the term earn your way into heaven but I don't want to say earn your way into heaven because Jesus paid the debt but you have to be tested so meaning you have to prove yourself into heaven and I guess father just selected to have your the order of your steps go that way my sisters I, you know I, hey who knows the mind of father but father but um and he does a lot of things that we don't like he allows us to meet a lot of people we would not have chosen to meet but um he's father well father knows best so basically how a lot of you feel out there you're wondering well, why does life have to be so complicated? Because we live in a complicated world that was made complicated by Adam's transgression. And, uh, well, you know, Adam is dead and gone now. And we're back here suffering the, what's the word, repercussions or consequences of his actions. And, but at least we have Jesus. So that's like sunshine on a rainy day, on a cloudy day. You are my sunshine, Jesus. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. 
You know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I'm thinking your enemies want you to be so bad what they want you to be. And see, I'm kind of thinking, you, you know, we're just having sister girl talks and brother and sister to brother talks today. But these enemies that came up against me, like I said, I don't know who they are. I can imagine who some of them are, but I, I won't waste my time doing that. I don't care. <laughs> But I'm sure a lot of them were probably somebody that wanted that piece of filth. Or was either related to the piece of filth I know. And I don't care about that either. Frenemies with the piece of filth. But um, a lot of you may say, oh, you're so dramatic. Well, I just call it as I see it. Filth is filth. But Satan knows how to clean it up, dress it up, give it a haircut. And that's why you sisters have to be on guard. But you won't know initially to be that, so cut yourself some slack. But as you grow older and you mature, you become a woman. And it's not to say just because you're in a that you are a woman, you can't be deceived. But it just means that you built up an immune system against bulls, y'all. I don't know about you ladies out there, but I've got too much fight in me. I'm hearing, number one, to let a man disrespect me. And number two, to lay down and let my enemies walk all over me. I've got too much fight in me. Because my initial thought would be, who do these people think they are? Like, have you ladies ever just, or gents just ever thought that, who do your enemies think they are? <laughs> you think you are that you think that I'm your business or that my life is your business or who I marry is your business who I date is your business who do you think you are what I drive what I live in who do you think you are I mean really step off And see, they'll do things to try to provoke you because um, they think you'll act out of character and go downtown. But it's not going to happen like that. I, I, I can't be provoked to destroy myself. I don't know about you all out there. No, I cannot be provoked to destroy myself because if I could be provoked to destroy myself, then I would have already destroyed I know there were at least two heifers in the area that I grew up with, grew up in, excuse me, that used to stalk me, harass me, pick at me, and mock me, and follow me different places all over town. I mean, I couldn't even go to a playground without them coming out there harassing me. And I would, of course, put them in their place. And of course, people on the outside would be looking at me as if I was the um, instigator of or as if I was the bad guy. No, I'm not the bad guy. I'm just defending myself. So, you know, like I said, I don't know about you all, you all out there, but I've never had a problem defending myself. But it's just that now I just don't do it verbally in that way. I think that when you're younger, you're more fiery. I've always been very fiery. I'm very reserved, but I'm fiery also and so basically they would say things to try to get a reaction out of me and um of course a lot of times i'm going to address things because i don't want anybody to feel like i'm afraid of them because i'm not i don't care what people feel but if they feel that i'm afraid of them they're the ones walking in deception so i had these two bum looking females that used to follow me um all over the town that i came up in and whenever I would be at a certain place if one of them saw me you could see her it get excited as if to say hey there goes sister sis 